This week on the Long Term Tackle Review, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Nash Titan Hide, a piece of kit that I've used a lot over the last few years. So we're going to take an in-depth look into how it's stacked up and how it's survived the last few years, and if it's worth the money compared to some of the other shelters you can pick up today. So behind me is the Titan Hide. It's a great bit of kit that I've been using for the last few years. So I thought I'd just talk about how it's held up over that time, um, what I like about it, what I'd change about it, um, and would I recommend you buying one yourselves. So it comes in at around £180 these days, which is just for the very basic um, shelter. You don't get the front on that at all. So um, if you want to get it with a door, which um, I brought separately, you're looking at another 60 odd pounds, I think it is for that. So. Um, all in all, you're looking um, into the 240 50 mark for the whole lot with, with a front. Uh, winter skins, ground sheets, all that come in at extra. So if you wanted a whole setup with this, it really is going to start to add up, which is my first uh, niggly point with it really. But if you just want it for quick sessions, which is basically all I do, um, it's really, really good for that because it's absolutely rock solid. It's um, bomb proof in storms. It's got to be one of the most solid shelters I've used. It really, really doesn't budge, even in some horrific gale force and sideways rain. It is rock solid and waterproof. Um, with that door on there as well, it does keep a lot of it out. With that front off, it is really wide and open, which is why I do love it. But if you're someone that wants to be tucked away and uh, really sheltered, it's probably not going to be the shelter for you. Because it does give you a lot of open space at the front, which is brilliant if you want to sit out and watch over the lake, which is what I like to do. Um, if you want to be tucked away and really protected, it's, it's not going to be the one. Now, uh, as I say, I've had it for a couple of years now. It's held up really, really well in my opinion. When I first got it and started setting it up, I was really worried about the material on the top of the hide. It seems to be under a lot of tension when you pull open the bars. Um, for those of you who don't know how it goes up, you've basically got five poles um, that are just split in two, so they go together and then you've got two bars at the front, you pull round and the whole thing fans out into its shelter and you just clip them into place, peg it into the ground and you're done. It's a really, really quick system but uh, when you first start pulling on those levers at the front it really feels like that fabric's going to give way but I've got to say after a couple of years of using it now um, it doesn't look any different to when I first brought it. It's not faded, the colour's still the same. Um, I only recently bothered to buy the door for the front and it looks exactly the same colour to the rest of the bivvy. You wouldn't know that one of them was two years older than the other, so that's a really good sign of the quality of the material that's been used on the hide. So, yeah, uh, would I recommend you buying one? It really does depend on what you want from your shelter. If you want to be going on long sessions or you want a lot of space, the hide is not going to be for one for you. Maybe look at the um, hide XL or a completely different PV system if I'm honest with you because um, this really is a compact space um, ideal if you're traveling fairly light or like me just doing quick overnighters um, it's been really ideal for what I want um, so let me know down below in the comment section below what shelters you use um, have you used the Titan hide or um, do you use the XL or even the Tempest anything like that um, or have you been using one of the new Ridge Monkey bivvies? Let us know down below. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. There's plenty more comment, uh, content and review videos coming out um, over the next few weeks. Uh, lots of session videos. I've got some big trips planned. I'm currently on one now as we speak. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.